My house, my rules, my coffee. This short phrase written on a coffee mug is subtly hinted at through the 2019 murder mystery movie, Knives Out. This mug is a more important clue for the viewer than any bloodstains, fingerprints, or footprints. The film focuses on the events surrounding Harlan Thrombey's sudden murder, which is shocking yet exciting for the members of the Thrombey family. As a world-renowned murder mystery writer, Harlan had a massive inheritance to pass along to his relatives. To say the least, the family wasn't ecstatic when they learned that Marta, Harlan's immigrant nurse, gains the entire inheritance. The plot appears to be a formulaic whodunit, a simple yet entertaining murder mystery movie. However, a deeper look into the film and its message reveals its main intention is not really about discovering who the murderer is. The final scene highlights the movie's true intention, exposing Marta's lived experience as an immigrant among white, wealthy, privileged Americans. The theme is truly Marta versus the Thrombies, the immigrant versus the citizens. The final scene provides a visual and oral representation of this feud and Marta's ultimate victory through the clever use of props, song choice, and scene blocking. At its core, Knives Out depicts the marginalization of minority cultures from the wealthy American gaze and is precedent setting for pro-immigration movements. As the film comes to a close, we see Marta standing on the terrace of the mansion with this mug. This mug is also seen in the opening moments of the film, as it used to belong to Harlan and now it's Marta's. In the final shot, we watch her slowly sip out of it as she looks down at the thrombies with a hint of vengefulness in her eyes. The use of this prop is the first telling sign that Knives Out has a more important message than how to effectively solve a murder. What's important about this mug is what it says. My house, my rules, my coffee. In the latter half of the film, the Thrombies vigorously attempt to bully Marta out of gaining Harlan's inheritance. This prop hints at the greedy and entitled mindset of the Thrombies. They have no qualms about manipulating Marta to gain the assets because they believe it's their birthright due to their ancestry and blood relationship to Harlan. They justify their actions because of Marta's immigrant status. Previous to this, they've pretended Marta is a valued and equal member of the family, but their true view of her as a dirty anchor baby is revealed when their inheritance is threatened. The cup might as well say, my money, my house, my birthright. The filmmakers then allow Marta to throw this attitude back in their face by passive aggressively drinking out of this mug and looking down at the thrombies. It's now truly her house, her rules, and her coffee. And by showing that the immigrant has power in the final moments of the film, Knives Out elicits a subtle yet clear pro-immigration message. These visuals are accompanied by the Rolling Stones song, Sweet Virginia. Viewers might not connect the song to the underlying message of the scene as it's widely recognized as being about substance abuse, but closer examination of the lyrics uncovers some interesting coincidences related to this culminating scene. In particular, the second line of this song, which is, and there's not a friend to help you through, coincides with the camera, showing the thrombies turning their heads and recognizing Marta standing on the balcony, looking down at them. Not one of the thrombies, except for Harlan who's dead, has been a friend to Marta. Nobody welcomed her family and genuinely supported their endeavor to become documented American citizens. Instead, they used Marta's mother's undocumented status against her, trying to intimidate her and make it seem like she has to choose between her family and the inheritance she's rightfully being granted. This song plays over the final scene, showing Marta in the position of power, shining a spotlight on a smart, hardworking immigrant who stakes a claim to her new position. She accomplishes this through perseverance, kindness, and staying true to herself. As Benoit Blanc puts it, You won, not by playing the game Harlan's way, but yours. You're a good person. The physical blocking of this scene is the final identifiable element that acknowledges the segregation of Marta while setting a precedent for the pro-immigration movement. This blocking refers to two important elements of the narrative. It visually shows the isolation of Marta and emotionally conveys the power that she now embodies. Marta has always figuratively been on the outside of the thrombies, despite their gestures and claims that they welcome her into the family. Literally, outside now and on a proverbial pedestal, Marta stands above the thrombies, looking down. And by taking the high road, Marta, the immigrant, has now gained the utmost power in relation to the American citizen thrombies. Within the murder mystery genre, the excitement of solving the murder can actually distract the viewer from other themes within the plot. In the case of Knives Out, 
The subtle hints the viewer should be paying attention to include the props, music, and blocking in the final scene, which ultimately depicts Marta's marginalization and supports a separate pro-immigration message within the narrative.